Hi there, it's Laura, and how's everybody doing today? The other day I was driving home from work, and guess what I passed? I passed a Little Debbie truck. Oh, I love Little Debbie. When I was a kid growing up, it was Hostess. I don't even know, are they still in business? I don't know. And, um, and now it's Little Debbie. And anyway, I was driving past this truck, Little Debbie's, and a thought came to my mind about why is it that everything that is sweet tasting or fattening is named after or in honor of women, right? Okay, so I made some notes here and I wanna get your feelings on this because I don't know if I'm just being sensitive or if there really is something to this. All right, now, what are the companies, like the top companies that um, create a lot of these sweets, these sweet treats? Little Debbie, that's probably number one. I do see Hostess, so maybe they were bought by someone else, I don't know, but Little Debbie, female. Hostess, it's a hostess, not a host. Female, right? Um, Mrs. Mrs. Freshly, Mrs. Freshly, I've seen that one in the store. And then if you're on the West Coast or you're driving on the West Coast, you might pass a truck that reads um, Bimbo Bread on the side. And all of those sadly are um, kind of in reference or referencing women. And maybe I'm being overly sensitive, I probably am, right? But why is everything fattening named after or in honor of women? So, I think one of the companies that was especially um, guilty of this, or it's obvious, is, is the company Hostess. So I looked it up online and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna look it up online. And I'm, I'm going to look at all of their top selling treats. And most of their top selling treats are in reference to women. Okay, so I wrote down a few. What do we call women? Like if you have a girlfriend, you might call her honey bun or cupcake, my little Twinkie, and then Susie Q. Those are like some top selling brands in Hostess, all related to females. Then you have, of course, Zingers. Thanks, Karen. And Ding Dongs. Thanks, Karen, right? But those are all women. It's all, it's all women. And then I, and I thought, well, Let's just name, name fattening things after men. But I don't know if it sounds as good. Okay, for example, Paul's Pastries, uh, Mike's Donut Shop, Mike's Muffins. Mm, I don't think so. What's the solution? Am I crazy? No, I know I'm crazy. But what do you guys think? 